solving inequalities involving absolute values using the TI-89 calculator. We're going to solve this less than or equal absolute value inequality first manually and then using the TI-89 calculator. First we'll subtract 8 from both sides. That will give us 4 times the absolute value of 4x minus 6 less than or equal to 280. Divide both sides by 4. These 4's cancel out. 4 goes into 280 70 times. So that gives us the absolute value of 4x minus 6 is less than or equal to 70. So the first part was of this objective was to isolate the absolute value part on one side of the inequality. Whenever you have a less than sign associated with the absolute value, you need to think of the word and. The next step is we're going to take away those inequality signs and solve for two inequalities. The first one, 4x minus 6 is less than 70. And the second one, we're going to replace those inequality signs with a negative and brackets, close brackets, so we have a negative 4x minus 6 is less than 70. Solving for the first inequality, we'll add a 6 to both sides. That'll give us 4x is less than or equal to 76. Divide both sides by 4. These 4's cancel out. And that gives us x is less than or equal to 19. Solving for the other inequality, we're going to distribute this negative sign to these two numbers within the parentheses. So that gives us a negative 4x plus 6 is less than or equal to 70. Subtract a 6 from both sides. That'll give us a negative 4x is less than or equal to 64. We'll divide both sides by a negative 4. Whenever you divide or multiply both sides by a negative number, you have to change the direction of the inequality. So that gives us x is greater than or equal to a negative 16. So that gives us x is less than or equal to 19, and x is greater than or equal to negative 16. When we have a less than or equal signs, we associate the answer with the word and. So we need to put these answers in the proper format. So we take a look at the lesser of the two numbers. In this case, it's a negative 16. So we'll put negative 16, and notice how the inequality is, is pointing to the negative 16, so we'll point this at the negative 16. And then we take uh, there our x, notice how the inequality is pointing towards the x, so we'll make our inequality point to the x, and then we'll write our larger number, the 19. So our final answer for this type of problem is going to be negative 16 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 19. Okay, let's enter this equation into the TI-89. First thing you want to do is hit F2. Then this box drops down. You want to choose the first one, Solver. So hit the Enter key. There it is. Now start typing in the inequality. Remember our inequality is 8 plus 4 times the absolute value of 4x minus 6 is less than 288. So 8 plus 4 times, stop right there. This is what we have so far. This should be a times symbol right there. Doesn't matter if there's a times symbol there or not. It's going to be implied, it's going to be 4 times the absolute value when we put in the absolute value symbol in there next. Now we're going to enter the absolute value part. To do that we have to go to second, then hit the math, this 5 key. This drop down box appears. We want to choose the number 1 here, which is number. So hit enter. Then this drop down box appears, and we want to choose number 2 here. AP, ABS, that stands for absolute value. So you could either hit the number 2 on the uh, calculator or scroll down here to number 2 and hit enter. I'm going to scroll down and then hit enter. So this is what we have. 
Now we need to enter the absolute value part, 4x minus 6. So enter 4x minus 6, close parentheses. Now we need to enter the less than or equal sign. Go to second, math, the number 5. This drop down box appears, and you want to go down here to the bottom number 8 and hit enter. Then this drop down box appears. This is where you're going to find all your inequality signs. So we want to choose the less than, which is this number 4. So scroll down to number 4 and hit enter. There's our less than and equal sign. So now we just have to enter in the rest of the inequality. The rest of our inequality is less than or equal to 288. So we put in 288. Then we have to put in a comma and then an x to let the calculator know that we're solving for x, and then we have to close the parentheses. Now hit the enter button on the calculator, and there's our answer. Negative 16 less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 19. Now let's take a look at a situation if this inequality was less than or equal to a negative 288. We subtract 8 from both sides. That gives us a 4 times the absolute value of 4x minus 6. is less than or equal to a negative 296. The 4's cancel out. And that gives us the absolute value of 4x minus 6. is less than or equal to a negative 74. Okay, we can stop right there because the absolute value is always going to return a positive number. So the positive num number is never going to be less than a negative number. Let's take a look at how that looks like on the uh, calculator. On the calculator, we inputted a negative 288, and the calculator gave us an answer of false. So if you get this answer of false, it means that no matter what number you put in for x, you're never going to get an absolute value that's greater than, that's less than, uh, or equal to the negative 288. That's it. This was part three of a series of videos of absolute value inequalities. Part two was an example of a absolute value inequality greater than or equal. And part one was an absolute value equation. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up.